We found the serial number. I can't think of anything else I'd rather do with my life. I mean, this to me is my calling. It's a calling that takes Clinton Cools in search of World War II aircraft crash sites. Underneath the rubble left untouched for decades, he finds closure for families of fallen American heroes. I made my first aircraft discovery in 2002 in northern Burma. And it was quite by accident. I had just finished climbing a mountain on the Tibet border. Since then, he has returned to the India-Burma border every year. Most of the wrecks are on the India-Burma border because the mountain, it's the eastern end of the Himalayas. The Himalayas run east and west, but when they reach the top of Burma, they dive south. So now it's a north-south range, and it creates a very severe icing and turbulence. In total, Cole says his team has excavated 28 aircrafts, a couple found in China, Canada, and Chile. All of them, except for one, were U.S. planes. Cool says those wrecks account for 279 service members who had been listed as MIA. Now, in most cases, the remains are still at the site. Uh, I've done recoveries at some of these sites at the request of the families, but to recover all the remains after these decades is pretty much impossible. It's a dangerous undertaking getting to the crash sites. Many are in very remote areas. Sometimes there are raging rivers to cross without bridges. The fastest, easiest way to die on these expeditions is by drowning. But Cools says he has another recovery trip coming up in October for the remains of First Lieutenant Robert King, whose family lives in Vail, Arizona. It's a crash site he found in 2010. When I was there, I did document many remains on the surface of the ground, and I just left everything in place. He's sure it'll be a success. But whether or not there will be remains of all of the personnel, I don't know. We'll just do the best job we can. But he puts the bill for pretty much all of the missions. So if you would like to donate, we have how you can do that just that on azfamily.com in just a couple of minutes. Reporting live in Phoenix, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. Casey, thank you. From